Alright guys, um, I'm gonna show you another way to get a, uh, the fire alarm to work again. Not through DC, but AC this time. The dangerous kind, of, obviously. So I got my P2430 again, the Spectre Alert Classic. Um, again with not with the pull station, because uh, you think we're having some problems with it and it's not working correctly. The fire alarm's working even though it's not even pulled. So, um... So first what you're going to need to do is going to go to back your fire alarm. It should be a lot like this, maybe it not, might not be, so that's a problem, and unscrew it. It's tough to get. Not really, because I'm trying to get it on camera. It's really not that tough at all. Okay. That one's giving me a little bit of problems. Some problems. Alright, so now what you're going to do, um... You're gonna need adapter. Uh, I have a seven volt. You really should use a twelve volt because my thing doesn't flash as much. But the flash is very slow. This is seven volts, and you're gonna need one with um basically the two wires at the end. And at the end, you're gonna cut it, split those two wires, and strip them. Um. So after you strip them. Take your fire alarm. I believe uh, the way this one works. Let me bring this. Stuff. I'm sorry, you gotta see my room cluttered. Poor, poor guys. Okay, make sure I'm gonna. The one with the white stripe will go on the positive. In this case, uh, you can see like a little label. Oh man, I'm trying to get it on camera, Jason. Label. It's really hard to see, but there is a positive there. My thumb's in the way because I don't want this thing to pop out. But you can see it when you get it when you get your fire alarm. I'll get the Spectre Alert Classic because it's kind of uh, sorry. Okay, so get your screwdriver. Screw it in. My second attempt on how to show you this because it it failed me last time. And take the other wire that you stripped and do the exact same thing with the other one. Okay, well since this is AC, I'm going to warn you right now. Um... Do not touch the back of it. You will shock. You will electrocute yourself and you could die. So, just warning you, I'm not responsible. I just don't want any of y'all to die. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pause this right now and I'm gonna get to an outlet. Alright. Oh, did I record that whole thing there? I forget to pause it. Oh, that's bad. Anyway. Well, take your fire alarm. Um, take your fire alarm with the uh, connected to the AC power. Um, just for display purposes. I'm going to put mine here. It's kind of hard for me to do this. I'm going to put the tripod in the way. Okay, and plug the other thing in. Not okay, this is really starting to be a bad video, and I'm not restarting it again. It flashes pretty slow. Well, won't touch the back of it. You may die, so that's... Sometimes it does, um, kind of flash, kind of double flash, you would call it. But then that flash is really close. If I take this off the tripod, you can actually hear it pretty well. See, it did it. Can you actually hear it a little bit? I don't know. See what it does? Oh, anyway, that's how you do it. Well, um, of course, if you're... You can obviously do the same thing with the horn, like, um, I didn't, like I showed you, you could do for the last video. But, um, for right now, um, 
Don't get, don't bother your mom, no. If you're not doing it in your room, you're like doing it in the living room. Don't bother your parents. Plug it out. That's it.